Good morning everyone. It's time of the year that I talk about the state of the collection. And this one would be the state of the collection for my vintage Seikos. Hello guys, welcome to my daddy's channel, Django Motor 1911. Vintage Seikos, I really love collecting them. It doesn't need to be rare, it doesn't need to be anything. It just needs to be mine. But these ones, they are all working fine and are in rotation. First off, let me start by the first that started all this. And this would be none other than this one. This is the watch that my father wore for the better part of his life. I think this, this was given to him by the company he worked in as a, I think, 20th. 20th year that he's worked in. This is a Seiko 5 fluted bezel, although a ground down. It has been worked a lot. It has been worn a lot. But this one, I still wear this because I haven't serviced this and this still keeps very good time. The only thing that did, that the only thing that I need to replace was this clasp because the original clasp has his name on it but it already cracked on this end here just being overused and this is a hardware watch and of all the watches that I have here this would be the most well, priceless has been with my father and now it is with me the thing with this is when he passed when he passed on there's a time when my I have goosebumps there's a time that you don't want to wear anything that your father has because it will remind you of him this just sat on the jewelry case and eventually I was I looked at it and said, well, it's time for, for me to wear this. And when I wear it, it still goes. And up till this day, <laughs> and up till this day, it's still keeping good time. And I haven't had the need to service this. That's just quality. And every time I wear this, I just bring a piece of my father with me, so... The most priceless in all my watches so having had a taste of the vintage stuff and how robust and how reliable they are I did not even hesitated to go for any other vintage stuff so the first thing that caught my eye was this one after that this was the first one that I bought this is a Seiko 5 with a Pogue case. I did not know that when I got this. I just knew that, well, this is old. This should be as old. 1970s, 77. And, well, it looks nice. So, I got this. The thing with this is it came with a rubber bracelet. Six three one nine six thousand. Six three one nine. Six three oh nine is another movement. This is six three one nine. Probably is a an upgrade or a lateral parallel development in the movement. But what this has is it has got this compressor internal bezel. Plus the case. You cannot discount the case. The case is a very classic case and it would just look nice on the wrist. And I wear this a lot.
just because it's on a rubber strap and you know rubber strap being Seiko 5 I just wet this flowing water and then all the stinky sweat is off it being a rubber strap next after that you can see that it has got a similar vibe and this is a similar watch but a bit different similar Pogue style case but with a really nice blue sunburst dial case back is also different this this now has a movement of 6119606020 so different movement but the thing with this that I saw is the blue dial and when I got this I was just oh it's all original but I just figured out that this dial markers the indices they have already been relumed so it does have a very nice loom as compared to this this is all original I did have the hands on this I did have the hands on this relumed when I had it serviced that's why it's not the brown patina color anymore but this I don't know I was a bit disappointed when I knew that it's already relumed but I just got the 19 in 19 mm Milanese band to match this and it just wears so classy with this band not a rubber band and I also interchange this with the uh, brown leather because the blue and brown really looks good but mostly it's in this 19mm Milanese and yeah so after these two I was just on a hunt for anything that was vintage and going through walking through the old streets of Davao City San Pedro Street because that's where most of the watch relojeros are I stumbled into this this and this all of them were not working really well and all these three I needed to have serviced this is when I got an idea of what this is the Seiko military and this is an even older model the TV case and this one well, the nice thing about this one is it's got a two-tone loom a green and a blue loom and this is just by walking on the older streets of San Pedro where I stopped by in one of the street side watch decks and said I just ask what 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 watches do you have in your collection that I can get so that I can have it service and then he gave me this and I really like this check this out this is a little bit smaller when you go to the military it's a little bit smaller I think this is a 37 millimeters but but before my for my wrist which is 7.5 inches 37 millimeters does not look very small I mean I can I can wear this all day these 37 millimeters these vintage Seikos that's why I like them because I it just fits me well check out the loom on this one so I'm experiencing some audio technical difficulties what I'm showing you what I'm showing you here now is a three another three piece that I bought from the same street this time I bought a new case that's new to me anyways this one and this one is still old military I'm gonna show you another military that I have 
but that one has got a full loom dial and the next one is a two-tone dress watch with a roman numerals it looks good i think i don't think it's as old but not as usual of a case for a vintage watch and i really like that that there's a sharp corner on the corners as compared to the military it's rounded and yeah this one looks nicer giving it a little shake a little bit more still not moving a little bit more so that it's gonna move it hasn't been worn for a long time so yep it's now moving but what this watch is is I like wearing it I mean I can wear this if not wear this for a long time because it's really really comfy on the wrist it's got a little more it's got a little more presence than the militaries and those nice cornered edges give it a sharp look and what I'm noticing now is there is a Seiko 5 shield etched on the glass just below the 21 automatic I'm looking at now looking at it now with my own eyes and then I'm trying to share it to you that, yep that detail I just noticed today <laughs> just by looking at the cameras I thought it was a smudge but no trying to zoom it in but it's not working so probably the zoomed out version or the regular regular zoom or regular camera distance would be better this that it's just a nice touch and I just noticed it now so I'm happy with that really nice comfy comfy feel on the wrist and here comes a similar but not really again it's got the same sharp corners on the previous watch and I really like these case designs it suits me better although I always say that the I can wear the military style with the soft corners but these kind of cases I prefer way more because it has nicer wrist presence yep but the thing with this one is look at that dial that dial is so nice and that is not its original well it's an original dial but what the seller was telling me is that it got refurbished so for some reason it's a new paint on that dial that gives this eggshell texture to it I don't know how it did that but that looks nice actually I I think that's the whole point of the watch the bezel I'd like to change but it's part of its character that's a Pepsi bezel and I don't know if I can find one Seiko yeah 6309 836A so 6309 those are the movements used on the on the turtles the slim turtles similar movements about the same time but different case so that 6309 movement is a dependable dependable movement that's in a in a watch like this I mean smaller than a turtle much 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 thinner but it fits it well and it's really nice I like this watch uh, hopefully this audio technical dif difficulties won't happen again I hope what's that citizen doing here gets out of here and we are now on the white dial Seiko this one I got because of that loom look at that loom 
And this is the first Seiko that I've seen that has that triangle chevron on the 12 o'clock. And the loom is really nice. And besides that, it has a white dial. And that loom and the 12 o'clock. Like, okay. Time. But pretty soon, this would be serviced. And a white dialed. vintage Seiko 5 it is and after that I got this a TV dialed nicely patinaed white silver sunburst dial vintage Seiko the thing with this is It has got a day date. It has got a day and a number there. It's like number of the week and the date on the other side. I always mistake this watch wearing it upside down because the Seiko 5 shield is on the top but that's upside down. It should be like this. Now the Seiko 5 shield is below really nice watch as well this is not his original band I swapped it out I just figured that it would be more appropriate that it has that nice detail and this was uh, sold to me by my relojero my watch tech Jay Turner said I got a vintage piece come on give it to me so yeah, vintage it is, and nice vintage sunburst. The sunburst on that white is just, with the natural patina, very nice. Detailed vintage. Alright, we're almost done for my first state of the collection for my vintage Seikos. And the last... And definitely not the least is this Seiko mechanical manual wind. This is the last purchase that I have for the line. And the thing with this is two. Two five five nine three zero one zero. This is a manual wind, so one. So it's bi bidirectional winding. So it's one two three. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Is it moving? Oh, it's not moving because it doesn't have an seconds hand, just an hour and a minute hand. But yeah, it's already moving. This has a really, this still has a very good movement. And I've been wearing this even though it is quite small for my wrist. I guess this is a really nice dress watch for when you are really in a formal wear and need to have a very thin dressy watch and a watch that most people would not know so yeah that is a vintage piece quite tiny quite small I think that's how vintage pieces goes well, that is the bulk of the collection for my vintage Seikos. And like I said, this is the time of the year that watch channels do the state of the collection, end of the year. And this is just the, the vintage stuff that I have, one case. And I would be doing, 
I think five more cases. This has been Alan. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.